Here's a knife make that's completely new to the channel. This is a company called Black Fox, if memory serves, and the model is the Scal. That's S K A L. Now, this is a little neck knife friction folder that was bought from Heine Haynes for somewhere around £35. They come in two colours this sort of neon green and black. Plenty to like about this knife, and this is one of those knives where I reckon you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. It's quite a small knife, but it is very friendly and easy to carry, although it is quite thick, thick behind the edge. So let's have a look at the detail on the handle first. Now, I believe this is G10. Um, I could only imagine that this has been on a CNC machine just by the way that's textured. It feels nice, I find the green, even though it's loud, to be quite visually pleasing. Now you can see here on the tang, it also doubles as a bottle opener. Usually when knives or multi-tools have bottle openers, it does my head in. This one I quite like. It just seems to me that almost every multi-tool you buy and quite a large selection of knives have bottle openers and to me it's just excessive. But um, I quite enjoy this one, it's not taking up any room and I don't really know what else they could have put there anyway. So that's just a nice little extra feature. We do have a lanyard loop. Um, you've literally only got two screws holding this thing together. You've got the main one here for the pivot and you've got this smaller one here uh, spacing out the knife. So as you can see it's a friction folder and if you notice there that tang takes up half the handle. That's quite good. Especially with it being such a small knife. You can get an excellent grip on this knife. That is going nowhere. Now, to me, this is one of the safest knives you could buy um, for the UK market. As you'll know, we've got really, really poor knife laws. You're not allowed to carry a knife with a cutting edge of over th 3 inches. And it must be non-locking. Non the blade on this thing is around 1.5 inches. And it most definitely is non-locking, being a friction folder. But... Once your thumb is in place, that is going nowhere. I mean, you could, it doesn't matter what you do, that is not going anywhere. You've really got to be trying to hurt yourself with this thing. Only issue is it's a bit thick, but to be honest, I kind of like that. Um, I would like to call that a flat grind. Well, then again, it looks more scanty like this, doesn't it? Sharpness isn't great, but then again, being so thick, you're going to struggle with that anyway. Definitely not a fruit knife at all, not one that's going to be good for opening the post, nor is it going to be good uh, for cutting your fruit. Those are the things that I usually like to do with knives, and it's not going to be good for carving either. This is just a really sort of, it's just a utility knife. You're going to be doing things like opening boxes with this thing. Uh, that's about it, just, just opening packages. I don't really see it being much use for anything else. Maybe sharpening pencils. Um... This is a nice, comfortable knife to carry though, and like, again, as I said, really, really non-threatening with that sort of, it's sort of a, I don't know, lamb's foot almost, with a curve. Now, let's just do some comparisons before I forget. So, we've got the Manly Wasp here, which I still maintain as one of the best knives for UK legal carry. You can see how tiny this knife is compared to it and we'll look at a Swiss Army knife because we like to do that on this channel Victorinox Swiss Champ so you can get an idea just how small this knife is this is one of those knives that fits really well into the pocket of your jeans you're not going to notice it's there uh, very lightweight reasonably sturdy I mean nothing on this, nothing on this is loose Everything is nice and tight, although I do believe this is one of the Chinese made knives. You can see there that the handle material is really quite thick. Um, we don't have any liners, no steel, no brass or anything. It's just just the G10. It's a lovely little knife to play around with. Uh, not very threatening, quite useful. Now, one of the shining things to me about this knife is it's actually a neck knife. So it does come with a plastic sheath which holds it nice and securely. I bet you I'm doing it the wrong way around. There we are. So that clicks in there nicely and there's no chance of that blade opening at all. Now, it does not come with this paracord or this little clip. This little clip, I think I bought about a hundred of them 
on Amazon for about six quid and put the power recorder on myself. It does come with a piece of string, but to me that was just too long. It was sitting way too too low down. Um, for me, this length, I have it so that it's sitting around mid chest area, which for me is the most comfortable. And the thinking is, you know, if I want to put it on, that's easy to undo. Just put it around the neck, clip it in. And if I want to take it off quickly for whatever reason, I could just yank on the knife, that'll snap. There you go, easily put it in my pocket, put it away. Uh, say I'm going into a place where it really wouldn't be a good idea to take a knife, I could just snap it off, put it somewhere else, put it away, uh, whatever. Not only that, this makes us safer. This being paracord, you're not going to be able to break it. If someone grabs a hold of you, you're in trouble. So this could be actually be used against you. So my thinking was, you know, if I do come in a situation where I feel threatened, I could just take that off and put it in my pocket. I just, I don't know, I just, I just felt that that was important. Just, I don't feel like being strangled with my own paracord. Or if you're walking in the woods, that gets caught on a tree. Or, you, you know what I'm trying to say, I'd rather not be strangled by something that I'm wearing around my neck. All in all, I think that's an excellent little package. For the money, definitely worth it. Very EDCable. I've carried this a lot since I've got it. Now, usually I don't like wearing jewellery. I don't like things around my neck. I don't like things... I don't like wearing rings or anything. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe that's just a sensory thing. Uh, who knows? But for me, having anything like that is quite uncomfortable. This thing I don't even notice. I mean, I don't wear necklaces or chains or anything. Uh, they just get in my way. This this is really comfortable. It's light. Now, one really nice thing about this is, with the handle being all plastic, and with the tang... I'm going to keep doing that, you know. With the tang being covered um, by the sheath, it's not cold on the body. Now, you'd be surprised how off-putting that is for some people. I do have... A couple of other neck knives. I've got the Spyderco dog tag folder and I've got the um, the Boker subcom friction folder. I don't like wearing those because they're metal. They're they're cold against the body and therefore it's, it's quite uncomfortable and to be honest they're quite heavy. You don't have that problem with this. There's, there's nothing nothing metal really showing. I mean I don't even feel the blades. So this is a really comfortable friendly carry. And this might be one of those dedicated knives that you might be okay with carrying in a city. Now, the only city I ever really go to is Edinburgh. And there's no way in hell would I take something like that there. I usually don't even like to take a full-size Swiss Army knife. For me, usually what I would carry would be a small Swiss Army knife, like a classic or something. Something like this, I would think, in my own mind, would be a bit more acceptable if you're in an area that might get you in a bit of trouble for having a knife and for the vast majority of people, especially in Britain, they would never think twice about you having a, ne a knife around your neck. I mean, most people have never even heard of a neck knife. So I just think that that's, a, you know, just a good way of carrying it really. It's quite non-threatening. Uh, it doesn't leave a print through a t-shirt either. To me, that's a big deal. I do not like people knowing I've got a knife. So a lot of the time, like, my, my Boker Subcom X, was it XS, I think? I don't remember. It's been that long since I've carried it. Um, you can see a lot of the handle when it's in your pocket. Whereas something like this, with a deep carry pocket clip, is less noticeable. Something like this is pretty much invisible, other than the, the string around your neck. If someone asked, oh, it's just a necklace, just a pendant. There you go. So, again, £35 of Heine Haynes, an excellent... EDC option. Uh, I, I totally love this thing, um, even though it's quite limited in its uses. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.